Today we'll be installing the DZ123 MK0. It fits a Marklin Mini Club 88455 locomotive. The tools you will need for this install is a pair of needle nose pliers and a small flathead screwdriver. The first step is going to be removing the shell of the locomotive. You can do this by gently prying up on the edges and the body will fall free. It's important to keep the locomotive lined up so these pieces are over this resistor. The next step will be to remove the light board. To do this, you're going to remove the two retaining screws located here and here. You'll need to make sure to save these screws later for reinstallation of the Digitrax decoder. Once the screws are removed, you simply remove the light board and place it aside. The next step is prepping the decoder for install in the locomotive. The decoder comes shipped with the pins flat. They must be bent into shape according to the bin diagram located in the instruction sheet before it can be installed into the locomotive. The first step is to bend the central motor pickup pins down at a 30-45 degree angle into the hole in the middle. To do this, you simply take the pliers like this and just bend like that, and it pushes them down into shape. Next, you'll have to bend the pins on the end. These are the light pickups. To start out with, you bend them down, about like that. And you bend them back up, so they look like that. And then, if you grab the airy ends, you bend down. One more time, so it's about shaped like that. Next, we will do the opposite side of the decoder in the same manner that we did the first side with the second set of pins. First, you'll bend the pins downward, about like that. Then you'll bend them back up. And then finally, you'll bend down again on the very tips. So they're shaped something like that and the decoder is ready for install. Next, we will install the board back into the locomotive. To do this, you place the board in this orientation. You need to make sure that the hole with the motor pickups is located over this part here. We'll push it into place, and then we'll use the screws to secure it in place. After the screws are in place, it is important to inspect here to make sure that the bent wires are making contact with either side of this part. You may have to remove the decoder and make additional changes to the pin configuration to ensure contact is made. The final step is to reinstall the shell on the locomotive. You want to make special consideration that the catenary selector hole is located over top of the CPU. The first fit may be a bit tight as the light pickup leads bend into place. Simply push it down until the shell snaps into place. Place the loco on the track and select the default address 03, loco 03, loco. And you want to ensure that the lights are lit on both sides of the train. That the motor functions. If the motor lights do not work, remove the shell and adjust the pickup wires so they are making proper contact. And this concludes the installation of the DZ123 MK0 for the Marklin Mini Club 88455.